Amit Gupta, uh, Derivative Strategist uh, at ICICIDirect.com is with us as well. Amit, good morning. Thanks for joining in. You know, we'll talk about a lot of other things, Amit, but let's just talk about what's happened to Tata Motors yesterday. And assuming that it opens lower by another 3-4% today, is the trade in Tata Motors over or can somebody still initiate a fresh trade? See, I think what one can do for this particular series in uh, Tata Motors, if you look at what happened before the result announcement, there was very heavy call writing at 520 call strike. And then the results were not uh, uh, in line with market expectation, in fact it was lower. And then this call writing has come down to 480 call options also, 500 and 480 both. And the stock closed at 4, 482. So my sense is once it is coming, uh, another fall is there of 2 to 3 percent or possibly more. On the lower side, 430 is a good support level. But for this particular series, writing the call options still maybe you know work well as we are approaching towards expiry and the options premiums will go off if the stock is you know if these strikes are closing worthless. So if they are closing. OTM, then I think whatever premium is there that will go in your pocket. So you can start with 500 call options today and as and when the stock starts moving up, you can go to the 480 call options also. The mice and that may be more aggressive call writing scenario, but 500 below, I think it should expire in this particular series. Okay. Uh, Rahul. Rahul also joins us now. Rahul, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Rahul, can you hear me or are you looking at uh, the Mutila Loswal morning report in your phone trying to understand Tata Motors? Yeah. <laughs> no, I can hear you. Okay. What's, what's happening with Tata Motors? I think obviously uh, the Tata Motor is obviously a disaster quarter. This is like a, a second in a row. So what we believe is going forward again is going to be a question. People, investor will wait and we'll see a lot of uh, near term, I think, challenges. Even the management has guided for that margin expansion. It would be around 30 to 14 percent. But we don't expect those kind of things. And we still uh, uh, feel that you know the next uh, two quarters, one or two quarters could be, I think, muted or a pain. So I think the uh, near term challenges is when stocks might slide more from here. So uh, we would advise that there are better uh, other consumer uh, uh, gains in, in the auto plays. So one should look at those uh, rather than uh, Tata Motors and Mahata. Which is fair, Rahul. My, my question is, uh, they had, had Motila Loswal as a house or your team to your clients because Tata Motors was so cheap, Did had you advised people to move into Tata Motors and if so, if they are sitting on profits or break even or even losses, would you advise them to get out of Tata Motors and switch to other auto names? See, I think the, obviously the lot of clients are sitting on Tata Motors, so we are not advising to exit uh, uh, in near term. But yes, the fresh investments, uh, we are uh, going to put on a hold. Uh, till the next quarter or so. Uh, uh, just because of the valuation cheap and going forward one can look at buying but I think near term the stocks might languish here and uh, obviously we've been going to book profits whether, whether at, at cost or maybe near to the uh, minimum losses and that so we might exit near term for entire number this. Rahul, any other earnings which have been uh, sort of significant on your book and uh, you know you perhaps may have re-rated the stock to a fresh buy now? I think the uh, uh, near term, I don't think so. We have come up with the results where you know we've just related it. But I think yes, we, our conviction on all marketing companies has been you know uh, I think we've been since quite bullish since last hour of two, three or four quarters, and we continue to remain. Maybe a little bit soft. Uh, maybe there could be easier there in some some of the uh, oil marketing companies because of some some maybe to inventory loss, some maybe due to because of the, uh, softer margins. But I think the visibility going forward remains continuous robust. So so I think uh, we would continue to uh, advise buying oil marketing companies from here also. Lupin could be the other stock which could be in focus. You know, it's continuing to see some short build up and this consistent negative news of increased competition for the likes of a Fortamed, generic launch of Drumezza. That continues to pressure the stock as well off late. Rahul, would you have an opinion on uh, Lupin before we let you go? I 
I think overall pharma as a sector, I think uh, uh, there are a lot of challenges and I think you need to be very, uh, very selective in cherry picking. Yes, looking for investment one can look at but I think trading perspective I don't think should be in a, in a quite bullish on overall pharma pack. But if you look at looping, I think uh, for investment somebody is looking at near term, I think uh, one should avoid still. Rahul, a uh, couple of other results that have come out. Uh, one. Natco Pharma, excellent set of numbers. The stock didn't react duly yesterday. And of course, Tata Motors and Sun Pharma took over, but I thought the numbers were fabulous. I was looking at the numbers of Voltas, not too bad either. In fact, quite strong, the bitter margin performance as well. Any thoughts here on these two? I think the Voltas, yes, definitely. I think uh, the, the stock has been outstanding, and you know we saw some kind of sell-off, and again uh, a good movement, good, decent set of numbers again, and obviously we've been quite bullish on Voltas for quite some time. So I think uh, Voltas one can look at still from the current levels, decent uh, numbers. I think going forward also it should be better in next two quarters. Post in, in, in maybe we are in a era of a demotivation. We saw good numbers. I think going forward next two quarters should be much better for Voltas. So I think Voltas one should look at. Uh, buying at these levels. Hmm. Back all. Uh, Rahul, leave us with one top idea from the Motilal Oswal stable right now. Either, either a short term trading play or a medium term investment play. I think uh, one should look at housing finance companies. I have given a lot of times uh, in the recommendations on this. We are quite bullish on that. So I think one should still look at Canfin Homes. Obviously, it looks expensive, plan of asleep, but I think in the kind of growth, kind of uh, balance sheet, and kind of uh, momentum the stock has, I think we would still uh, uh, recommend clients to buy uh, Canfin Homes in the current levels. Okay, Rahul, good speaking with you as always, and thanks for squeezing our time and chatting with us about all the earnings and stocks which are going to be in focus. Okay, that's the view coming in from the house of Motilalo Spa, but that time on the show when we'll get you some more technical trading ideas. CK